The problem with tap to heart on the phone is that you don't get a vertical aspect ratio and a lot of Instagram content is seen. If you want to avoid that, the first thing that you need to do is search for a pure black background. Select a background which is looking pure black. Once you've found it, just download it on your phone. Go to your Instagram and upload it on your Instagram account. Once you've done that, start your screen recording. Go back to that black picture and give it a double tap. Now you have a video recording of the double tap taking place. What we have to do next is go to our video editing software and import this video into our software. So you can see the video is pretty long, but we don't need the entire video. Uh, we need to cut off whatever is not needed. So we're just going to select the trim option or the cut option and remove whatever is in excess. And we just need to find out that sweet spot or that particular content which has the tap to heart video in it once we have it it's now time to import our actual video that is the pan around video that we had made with the time lapse it is now time for us to find out which is the first position which requires the tap to heart video all right so i'm going to be finding that off now i'm just going to be finding that now so once i find it it's going to look uh, something like uh, this uh, so you can see the double tap or tap to heart is the video in front in the foreground because of which my background video is not seen so i'm going to go to an option called as crop and i'm going to select that and you can see uh, left top and right and bottom options in that it's cropping is very simple you just drag your mouse on the left and right hand side that's you that's how you crop in adobe premiere pro it's very very simple basically you just need to crop off the foreground video and what you're supposed to be left off with a heart with a black background if you want to remove the black background you go to the option called as opacity and in that you go to blend mode right now it's a normal so we go ahead and select something called as screen as soon as you select that you can see the black background has now become transparent and how cool is that once you are done with that you just need to accurately place this um, tap to heart uh, at the right position so that it looks really cool so i'm just going to be taking some time to actually figure out which is the exact position where i want tap to heart once i am done with that it's time to find out how many tap to hearts i want in this particular video so i think i'd made a pretty long video and there were around four to five places where i wanted a tap to heart i'm just going to go and copy paste how many ever tap to hearts i want and i'm going to drag it on top of my um, pan around video so i have tap to heart videos in the foreground that's on the upper timeline and i have the pan around video uh, in the bottom timeline all we are left with to do right now is we have to accurately time the tap to hearts at the right place so uh, what you can do for this is you can zoom in and zoom out that's going to help you accurately time your tap to hearts um, because if it's not accurately timed it's going to look uh, very offbeat and it's not going to look convincing so the timing of this is very critical so once you are done with uh, adjusting all the tap to hearts it's a good time to check the entire video how it's looking once you're happy with it just import some audio that you like um, and adjust the volume you can also add sound effects what i did was every tap to heart was accompanied by a pop sound that i had added so you can add it on as many tap to heart that you have in your video and that's all we have to do i hope you enjoyed the tutorial bye bye